All right, so we leave today from Fefe Falls, as the locals call it, not Fifi Falls. We camped there last night. It's a beautiful spot that we camped by. But pitching up tent in front of uh, that stream last night was surreal. Watching the sunrise from there was even more special. Went to the top of the falls, took our own sweet time to pack up, eat, rest before we headed out of here. Today's destination for us lies in Dauki. Now, Dauki, I'm hoping you know, if you don't, it's famous for one of the cleanest rivers in India at least. And uh, that's where we headed. It's about an hour's ride from here. It's another cloudy day here. Now, the thing about Dauki is that it's a little bit more crowded. Now there are a few areas there where it's a little bit more crowded and a lot other areas which are less crowded. So reaching there we've got to figure out where to pitch our tent for today. We're gonna camp again by the riverside by one of the cleanest uh, rivers in India. And first we've got to refuel. Uh, we've been in reserve for about uh, 43 kilometers. Thank you. All right, we fuel up and we move ahead. that I turn off my camera <laughs> there's a new view in front of my eyes how tough is it to not record everything here what a beautiful state to be riding through saying it for the hundredth time already I have no regrets the vastness of the rolling hills here, almost plateau-like, is incredible. Nothing like I've ever seen before. It just stretches and goes on and on and on forever. But I just stopped uh, just five minutes back in a town uh, on the way. Stopped on a few oranges and a few snacks here and there, so that uh, I'm all stocked up for the evening today, as well as the morning tomorrow. What a random ass state this is. I think I'm gonna call it the state where it almost rains but it doesn't and then it rains. <laughs> I think I'll have to stop in a while because it just started drizzling and put on my rain gear and cover all my essentials. It starts raining heavily which I don't think it will. Uh, but you never know. You're in Meghale. <laughs> the better state in uh, India so I just stopped here took a little tea break <laughs> at this small little place where the locals were apparently stacked to the full eating their usual rice and curry and chewing on some tobacco ah, we're gonna head further now hopefully the rain gods have had some mercy on us and it's not gonna rain too crazily we head further we head beyond i don't know if the camera captures it but the rays of the sun hidden behind the clouds just peeking through look beautiful right in front of me look how beautiful that looks Oh my god, it started <laughs> drizzling again. 
I've got to be really careful because the roads when it rains here start getting really really slick. I have to watch out for my braking because as you can see on one side all these trucks are parked. This is crazy. This line of trucks has extended for almost about 3-4 kilometers now. And they've just taken one complete side of the road. I don't understand what this phenomena is. But apparently this is the main highway. And it looks normal. Because no one is surprised. They're just finding their way through it. Oh my god. This 50 minute ride from Feifei Falls actually to Daoki is just... Just crazy man. All this talk of great roads in Meghalaya yesterday. And today it's been all bad roads. I mean the road's bad and it's understandable because it's a hilly terrain and it rains a lot here and it's all understandable. But the fact that there are so many trucks on this road just makes it so much more harder. So we've entered into a tropical area now. <laughs> the flora and fauna of the state just keep changing every 20 kilometers here and there. It feels like I am in a humid, humid Goa exterior. So we just took a diversion to Darang. So Darang, Dauki, Shnonden, Ping, whatever it's pronounced as, these are all places which are located like probably like one two kilometers away from each other and uh, they're all situated by or on the Uman Goat River I have to check the name of the river once but I think it's Uman Goat only and uh, yeah let's see we've taken this diversion because this is the route that leads us to a campsite today and let's see what how, how the campsite is, how the area is, but it feels coastal. There are palm trees everywhere and the temperature has just risen. Yesterday it was again a very cold night, but today I don't think it would be one of those nights. And I could do with a lot more warmer night today. So we see the Uman Goat River on our left, but we keep our eyes on the road. Look how green this area is in the middle of uh, peak winters. Welcome to Darang. morning from Darang and it's one breezy breezy morning here in fact it was one breezy breezy night as well but thank heavens it's not too cold I think it's one of those places that I visited yet in Meghale which is on the warmer side we have the sunrise happening just behind us hopefully we're gonna see a really really nice sunrise that's how we we're willing to start the day there's no other way I'm in uh, a unique, unique part of uh, Meghalaya. I reached here yesterday evening. By the time that I reached here, pitched my tent, it had gotten quite dark, as is the case when I camp usually. And uh, all I did yesterday was sit by the bonfire, warm myself up, had some nice food, and I conged off. We started today with uh, another beautiful sunrise, rising over the mountains of 
Bangladesh that we can see from here. I've got peace like a river in my soul. In my soul. Peace like a river in my soul. In my soul. I got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. Love like an ocean in my soul. I got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean. I've got love like an ocean in my soul. So I was talking about the rang. The good thing is that it remains hidden from the eyes of the usual tourists because the usual tourists always head further to either Dokki or Shnon Pedding. Now Shnon Pedding, Dokki, and the rang all lie on the Oman Goat River. and the rang is one place that people usually just skip on because it it lies just a little bit off the main highway you have to drive probably like 2 2 and a half kilometers into the darang village but it's a beautiful village lined with palm trees everywhere and small little houses it's it's a nice goan feeling here to be frank <laughs> Darang is actually situated really close to Dauki. Now Dauki is a very prominent tourist spot. A lot of people go there, camp there, uh, stay there for quite some time, do a lot of water activities actually. And all of this is situated on the Oman Goat River. Now this river is renowned to be one of India's cleanest rivers, maybe India's cleanest river. And I think it stands true to its name. <laughs> it's a crazily crazily clean river so today in the morning i went for a nice quick dip uh, in the oman goat river uh, and what a feeling that was <laughs> i'm not a swimmer in any means yet it it was such a pleasing experience uh, taking a dip in such a clean river i've got peace like a river in my soul in my soul peace like a river in my soul I got peace like a river I've got peace like a river I've got peace like a river in my soul in my soul I got love like an ocean in my soul in my soul love like an ocean in my soul in my soul I got love like an ocean this is also a part of meghalaya this is also one of the reasons why i wanted to do this entire state because you get everything from high mountain passes and unbearable cold to you know sitting by the beach <laughs> it's a nice feeling to have hit this place uh, 
after a lot of places where it was really really cold shillong it was really cold uh, fefe falls where i camped the day before it was really cold as well uh, and ribhoi where i started uh, camping in meghalaya the first day in meghalaya it was extremely cold so it's nice to have finally found a little bit of a tropical uh, savanna feel of meghalaya it's a beautiful clean river some fishermen uh, fishing for fishes nice food uh, good music good people around not a lot of people around probably like two campsites here and uh, i am as surprised as you are but this looks like a mini goa to me doesn't it there's a nice beach there there's a nice white sand there some tents here there's a shack here where we usually have a food a tent is pitched at the back of it the sun is setting there it's a nice day it's a nice feeling thanks for tagging along till here uh, i hope you stay on a little bit further as well uh, and we're going to make the most of uh, the trip as well as what's the remainder of my time here in darang deep and wide deep and wide